Hello, what is up guys? I'm on from Peso Smart Page here. Welcome sa open bagong episode. Shout out to all the podcast listeners as well. I appreciate you all. Today, let's talk about this post ng sigaw ng bataan about BDO. So, basahin mo natin yung buong post. Sabi, ito na yung bank book ko sa BDO. May laman siyang 5,603. Hindi ko siya nagalaw ng 3 years. Pina-update ko ang sabi sa akin. Walang laman. Close account na daw yun pala. Sila pala ang nagbabawas ng 300 pesos per month. Service charge daw. Anong klaseng banko ito? Imbes makapag-ipon ka ng konti. Konti, binabawasan pa nila ito. Kaya buti na lang. Yan lang ang laman ng account ko. Tama nga ang balibalita tungkol sa BDO Bank. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, lahat ng may balak mag-savings account sa BDO, huwag nyo nang ituloy. Imbes sa savings ang mangyari, ang savings ang nangyari. First point na gusto kong i-discuss dito is parang naging default na natin as a society na if we can't if we can't go like, paano ba natin term yun? If hindi magiging pabor sa atin yung isang situation ang gagawin natin is sa social media tayo mag rant or dun tayo magpo-post or magre-reklamo kumbaga but we have to have some sort of what they call this accountability so first of all you have to read the terms and conditions when you open a bank account and usually naman merong ito mga savings account na to like nakalagay yan lagi sa website nila which is i-discuss natin later and in the first place dapat alam natin yun and again kapag hindi natin naintindihan like wag muna natin gawin wag natin i-open muna yung account kailangan naintindihan nyo fully before nyo dapat gawin and this goes to like anything you will do throughout your life Kasi we can oh, we can we can always blame it sa government, we can always blame it sa bad weather, we can always blame it sa ek- economy, we can always blame it sa isang factor na is out of our control. And diba, if you apply nga natin yung stoicism dito, <laughs> everything is not under our control. What we can control is our next actions and how we would react. So yun, yun yung unang point na gusto kong um, i-discuss. And then siguro pangalawa, education. I'm seeing a lot of like, what they call this, posts din. Na of course they're giving their empathy or like some other sympathy dun sa, sa nag-post. And ito, sinabi niya may maintaining balance which is right. BDO, yan na, iyak siya. Ganyan, ang dami nang kumalat na to, naging viral na to somewhat sa Facebook, sa social media. BDO, we find ways. Ways to lose all your money. But yeah, just a simple kumbaga kilala lang basahin no, in terms and condition. And ano nga ba yung maintaining balance for a savings account? This would prevent this from happening. Yes, This is publicity for video, which is good for them. <laughs> and you can consider this as a bad publicity as well. But video is in the right here. So yeah, no to video, guys. I mean, personally for me, I don't have a video bank account. So I'm in no way endorsing or promoting you guys to have or open a savings account with them. But this is one of the more reputable or biggest banks in the Philippines but personally for me I have BPI and I've never had this problem with BPI and mababa din kasi yung what they call this, yung maintaining sa BPI compared to BDO kasi yung mom ko, si mama 10k din yung um, maintaining balance sa BDO bank account niya and yung sa akin 5k lang so ito na If you go dito sa website ng BDO, Peso Savings Account, 
So we have four options: passbook savings, and I think you know my new sakanya kasi meron siyang passbook, ATM savings, Optimum savings, and Junior savers. So in Junior savers is for like your children or like ina anak mo no, parang ganon. <laughs> Optimum savings is targeted for people who just want to save and earn more interest and bigger interest. And ATM savings is for like for example mga fresh grads no. Initial, kasi ang baba nung initial deposit and ang baba din nung minimum average daily balance requirement. And again, ito yung sa passbook savings. 5K yung initial deposit, which is yung meron siya, around 5,603. And then, hindi niya na-maintain yung minimum average daily balance requirement, which is 10,000 pesos. That's why nag-charge sila ng, I think, 600 per per month if i'm not mistaken so dito sa susunod passbook savings so yung minimum initial deposit nga is 5k madb is 10k minimum balance to earn interest 10k and kita naman natin walang kwenta interest 0.0625% and then account closure may fee na 300 kapag ay close mo na yung account mo then pagka nag fall ka below minimum balance that's a 300 peso fee pagka dormant na account 30 pesos fee and then withholding tax for interest earned di ba babawasan pa nila yung 0.0625% mo na interest ng 20% that is crazy bro so account closure fee will be collected if account is closed within 30 days from account opening so hindi naman siya na close falling below minimum balance fee will be collected if account falls below required minimum MADB for two consecutive months so i believe magsi-send naman sila ng email sa or whatever i mean they will they will, for sure they will notify you i'm not sure lang kung may access ba siya sa sa email but i believe meron kasi na pag post siya sa social media so video will will notify you if ever you are falling below the required minimum uh average daily balance and it's just kind of weird then You can you can somewhat blame video as well because the minimum initial deposit is only 5k. Tapos yung MADB is 10k, which is weird, right? So mo open mo yung account mo ng 5k lang, pero yung minimum na amount na dapat na sa bank mo is 10k. Like what? <laughs> For me, that doesn't make any sense. Pag pantayin mo na lang, no? Oh, na buksan mo yung passbook savings account mo ng 5k. Pero kailan mo ulit ng 5k pa ulit para? Hindi ka nila mabawasan. Well, it it takes two months sa mano bago i-collect itong 300 pesos na na charge sa yo. So probably in two months mga pagdedeg ka pa ulit ng 5k dito sa bank account mo. But yeah, it's just for me it's just weird. And again, guys, kailangan natin basahin and intindihin lahat ito before natin. Like may mga steps sa man dito. And this is This can be viewed by anyone, as long as you have internet and you have electronic device, right? And yeah, I think we need to leave the like, you know, the ones who are selling on social media, and just take a look in I don't know in the mirror <laughs> and and take accountability because hey, this is somewhat. To the the bank account holders' fault as well, so you should have been aware of this. And kaya nga again, I I like making videos and podcasts about this, about these topics, about personal finance, para mas maeducate pa tayo and lahat ng fellow Filipinos natin about these things about not just investments not just about stocks crypto real estate and all that it's about saving and yeah, being responsible financially so for the longest time tabu para sa mga filipinos na pag-usapan ang personal finance diba pagka pera na yung pinag-uusapan laging may magagalit laging sasabihin oh bakit natin pinag-uusapan yung pera lang and no <laughs> We have to talk about this, and we have to be more educated. Like we have to educate ourselves better. And again, guys, pagkamagawa kayo na mga ganitong, for example, nagpost, 
be be empathetic and you even though you're gonna for example you're gonna disagree with what they're saying or what they've posted you have to correct them without any anger sabi nga ng mga stoics diba and don't be condescending just be neutral as possible and again your approach is maging empathetic tayo like tell them na oh, okay if if that happened to me i'm going to feel bad but you should have read the terms and services and again nasa website naman nila yan. and i know na matagal 3 years ago nila to binuksan yung account and probably iba pa yung interface or ui ng bdo at that time but 3 years ago was what 2019 i believe medyo okay na rin yung <laughs> website ng bdo back then so yeah just It should like serve as a lesson for everyone and hopefully he or she learns then from this mistake and again hindi laging pwedeng sisihin natin is ibang tao or ibang bagay we should always you know take the blame <laughs> own your mistake learn from it and move forward All right, guys. And then natin yung episode here. Sana may natutunan kayo. And if umabot kayo at the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you. And if na- kung napansin nyo, <laughs> pumunta ako sa website ng BPI. Kasi napansin ko lang na, you know, mas trip ko yung website ng BPI, yung UI nila in comparison to BDO. I know medyo bias kasi nga matagal na akong customer ng BPI. But again, I prefer BPI and I prefer BPI trade. If ever man mag-open kayo, ng stockbroker online stockbroker account so yeah go for bpi trade go for bpi and yeah it's a a seamless and good experience for me so far so yun if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if hindi nyo naman natripan then give this video a thumbs down If bago ka sa channel ko, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell para wala kang miss out sa mga uploads ko every single day. You may also follow me sa mga social media platforms ko. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at MNPS page. And guys, meron tayong YouTube membership if you want to support the channel sa ibang paraan. Meron tayong YouTube membership. Merong link dyan sa baba sa description to know more about it. And if meron naman kayo mga bibilin, for example, sa Shopee or sa Lazada, meron ding links dyan sa description sa baba. Mga affiliate links ko yan. So, for example, may binili kayo na isang isang item. Merong kumbaga percentage ako makukuha from that purchase. And again, hindi nyo babayaran yun. <laughs> ang, ang magbabayad nun is si Shopee or yung Lazada. Thanks again for watching and listening, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next episode. Always remember, be peso smart.